everybody, and welcome back to EdTech Classroom. For today's tech tip, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Meet the Teacher tab on your class website. So this is just going to be a teeny tiny sneak peek or a behind the scenes of this really awesome product that I made, which is a class website template. Now, to the best of my knowledge, this is pretty much the only product like this that exists out there. I've actually created an entire template for you to use where you can just input your information and it's ready to go. I have all the buttons linked for you. So it's a complete class website template. So for today's video, like I said, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Meet the Teacher tab. So you'll see that I'm on the Meet the Teacher tab on my class website, and I have this big header right here. It says Meet the Teacher. You'll see that I have my name here. You'll see that I have a short intro paragraph. I have an About Me section. I have a place for me to put a picture of myself. Then I have a place for some of my favorites. Now, upon first glance, this does not look like the most visually appealing website. So I'm going to show you how you can actually take your Google Sites to the next level by using some of the really cool graphic design features that we have here. So first and foremost, I really do not like this header here. Um, there are some themes over here on the right hand side that you can choose from. But for me personally, I just don't really uh, like any of them too much. So I'm going to show you how you can actually uh, do a little work around to create your own. So I'm going to just delete this big title here that says meet the teacher. So I'll click on it and then I'll click the delete button. Then I'm going to go here to change image. And I'm going to select an image from my Google Drive. So when I click on Google Drive and let me see here, go to the file where my headers are saved you'll see that I've actually created a bunch of PNG or image files for headers for my class website. So ahead of time, I just went ahead and actually designed a header. Uh, I just designed this using um, Google Slides, but you can use some other platform that you like. So let me see if I can find, there we go, meet the teacher. So I'll click on it, then I'll click select. And now you'll see that I have this really wonderful header now here. So you'll see that it looks a little bit faded. So Google Sites, they sort of had this, had this feature that adjusts for readability, but to make it so that it's just the bright colors that you can see normally, you're gonna hover over your mouse here and you'll see these little sparkles in the corner. If you click on it, it'll make it so that you see the uh, image in its brightest form. So now that I've updated my header, I'm gonna show you how to update a few other key features. So I have, my name here in this big font. I don't think it's too bad. I think I'm going to bold it just because I, I like the way that looks a little bit better. Um, let's see here. So I have my text. I have my about me. Um, but I think I want to make this look a little bit more visually appealing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this layout here. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it. And you'll see that when I drag it, this blue line appears. Then I'll release. And you'll see that now there's sort of this layout that I can work with. So I'm gonna just highlight this text here and I'm gonna copy it, paste it. So you'll see now I have my name here. I'm going to take my text. I'm also gonna copy this and paste it. And now I have um, my, my text here. So this image I no longer need since I have this placeholder here. So I'll just delete it. I'll make this box a tiny bit bigger. Uh, maybe I will add a text box beneath it. So the way I did this is I just double click and you'll see that this button appears where I can type in text. So I will center it. I'll add it as a subheading. So it's a little bit bigger Then I'll type in my name. Obviously you can type in your real name. Um, so I'll type in my name here and now you'll see that it's starting to look a little bit better. So down below here, I have my favorite. So I also really like to include this on my Meet the Teacher page. I know that it's something that's really popular for a lot of teachers to do. But you'll see again, this is just not very visually interesting. So I'm going to show you how you can sort of elevate this and make it look nice with some fun icons and different things like that. So I'm going to click on this little layout here because I like this one. And I'll click and drag. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just type in food pizza. And I'll type in book Harry Potter. So now I can actually duplicate this section just by pressing this button here on the left hand side that says duplicate section. And now you'll see it has created another one. So now I, can, now I can type in hobby and I can type in hiking. Then I can go over here and 
Your favorite subject is STEM. I can duplicate it again. My favorite candy is gummy bears. My favorite subject, or sorry, my favorite drink is coffee. Perfect. So this is starting to look a little bit better. I can just delete the sections I don't want. Now I'm gonna start adding some icons. Images that I found ahead of time. You can use anything that you like. I really like icons, um, but you can add, you know, clip art. You can add real pictures of your favorite things. It's totally up to you and what you think uh, makes the most sense. So I'm just uploading, same process, just clicking, selecting the file. Last time upload and now you'll see, oops, there we go. So I think this looks pretty good so far. So you'll see, I now have my favorites. Doesn't this look so much better than it did before? The last thing I need to do is I need to just add a picture of myself. So I'll just click on this plus button, then I'll click upload. And you'll see I have this image of myself. And now you'll see that I have my completed Meet the Teacher page. Doesn't this look so much better? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a little bit about how to make a class website using Google Sites. And I'll see you back here next week on Tech Tuesday. Bye friends.